Navasana. Straight arms, straight legs, balancing on your sits bones. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Hands on the floor. Cross your ankles. Lift up. Five breaths again. One, two, three, four, five. Cross your ankles. Lift. Straight legs again. One, two, three, four, five. Cross your ankles. Lift. Back to the floor. Straight legs. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Cross your ankles. Lift. Last one. Straight arm, straight legs. Two, three, four, five. Cross your ankles. Lift. Jump back. Push up position. Upward dog. And downward dog. Okay, Bhuja Pindasana, you're going to jump your feet around your arms and cross your ankles in front and balance. It takes a lot of practice. Then you're going to try to come forward and not break your nose. Put your chin down to the floor. And then lift again. And then try to get your feet behind you and jump back into push-up position, upward dog. Downward dog. Jumping forward. Again, your feet are around your arms, and you're going to just sit yourself down. And you're going to go into Supta Karmasa, and you're going to try to get your hands underneath your, your, your shoulders, underneath your knees, and get flat to the floor with your arms splayed out. You're going to try, very difficult, to cross your ankles and bind, grab your hands behind your back. Five breaths there, and you're going to try to get your palms flat on the ground. Get yourself up so that you're resting on your hips. And lift yourself up. Hold that for as many breaths, five breaths. Straighten your legs, release your feet behind your head, and jump back into push-up position. Upward dog. Downward dog. And again, jumping forward, your feet through your arms now. You're going to try to get into full lotus position. And scoot your right arm behind your knee your left arm behind your knee, bend your elbows, grab your ears, and balance. It's also called embryo pose. And you're going to roll around on the ground, do a full 360 degrees. And when you're back in position, you're going to roll up, and you're going to put your hands on the ground, and you try to balance looking at the tip of your nose. Lower yourself. Extract your arms. While in lotus, try to jump back. Push up position. Upward dog. Downward dog. Jumping through again. Kanasana. Bring your heels in to your center, hips on the ground, open your feet up like they're, you're reading a book, chin down, back straight, five breaths. And then inhale, chin up, exhale, chin comes forward, try to get it to touch the mat. Then round your back and bring your chin into your collar. See if you can touch your head to the soles of your feet or to your toes, your forehead to your toes. Breathing. Exhale. 
And then once again, you're going to get your back very straight. Open up your feet again like a book. Chin in to your collar. Five breaths. Okay, crossing your ankles and jumping back. Jumping through, sitting down, and bring your heels out and open as far as you can, grabbing your big toes. Okay. Lift your chin, and then exhale, come forward, try to get your chin to the mat. And then you're going to try to lift yourself up and balance, looking up at the ceiling, hips on the ground, and then you're going to cross your ankles, jumping back. After you jump through, you're going to lie down on the mat, bring your feet over your head, keep your ankles as far apart as you can, grab your big toes. Hold that, breathing. And then you're going to roll up and try to balance. And then flop forward, doesn't have to be graceful, heels hit the ground, chin hits the ground, crossing your ankles, jump back. Right, jumping forward again. Lie down on the mat. Take your right big toe with your right hand. Right heel extended. And then bring your chin up to your knee. Five breaths. And then lower your head to the mat. And bring your right foot out to the side turning your head to the left in the opposite direction. Inhale your right foot back up to center, bring your chin up to your knee, and then grab your foot with both hands, bring your head to the mat, and really try to stretch that out. Okay, release it. Try it on the other side. Your left foot comes up, vertical, pointing at the ceiling. Grab it with your left hand. Chin comes up to your knee. Five breaths. Head goes back to the mat. Your left foot goes out to the side. Your head turns to the right. Heel comes back up the center, chin comes up to your knee, grabbing your foot with both hands, stretch it out, and you're going to put feet down on the floor and you're going to do a chakrasana jump back, which means put your palms on either side of your ears, lift yourself up into push up. Upward dog, downward dog, and jump through. So you need to move a little forward on your mat. Lie down, grab your big toes with your hands, and roll over, touch your toes to the floor. Hold that for five breaths. Straight legs. And then you're going to roll up and try to balance. Straight legs, straight arms, and then cross your ankles and jump back. And jumping forward again. Very similar, but a more advanced pose. You're going to grab the outsides of your feet. Feet are going to touch the floor behind your head. Breathe deeply, 
And then on an inhale, you're going to roll up. While holding the outsides of your feet, you're going to try to bring your head close up to your shins. And balance there just on your hips. Your elbows are bent. Then crossing your ankles, jumping back. And then jumping through. Again, you lie down, let your heels touch, and your knees splay out. Your knees are bent, almost like Charlie Chaplin. You're going to lift up, pushing your elbows down, crossing your arms over your chest, hands on shoulders, and balancing on your head and heels. Lying down, release it. Backwards jump back or chakrasana, upward dog. Seto Bandhasana was the last pose of the primary series. Now we're going to move into the closing poses.